Hi, I'm Tony, this guy's Slack, welcome to Smog Vlog. Today, we're going to be chatting crap about the vaping news. Okay, first up on the vaping news, there's been a fun story in The Sun and a number of other UK rags uh, about a guy who burned a hole in his lung from vaping. Yeah, it's uh, quite an impressive feat if it is true because he managed to get hot e-juice, apparently is the cause of it. it. It jumped, you know, missed his mouth and his tongue and his throat and, you know, his esophagus and it, all the way down into all his lung, down. straight yeah. into his lung. And um, then burned a hole and through. And burned a hole clean through. Through. Now, I really hope there's no truth in this because otherwise I'm being a bit of a bastard about it, but I, I call bullshit. Like, how i mean I, I i do some extreme sub aiming at times you know and, and we've had like this is a spitty little bastard here and, and okay oh yeah it's a bit hot but it doesn't leave any burns in my mouth so how it would burn a hole in a lung burn a hole in a lung i don't know how it's possible it, it's interesting to note that what you know what we're talking about is pretty extreme kit i mean 200 watt snow wolf um Re rebuildable atomizer on top built to point point two point so. two ohm i mean that that's a tasty bit of kit by by any any stretch of the imagination what this article is referencing is that the guy spent a hundred quid on that there's some get out of the way <laughs> there's, In your face. there's some um ambiguity about what the guy was actually vaping they've got a picture of a kanga sub tank with an e -leaf, e -leaf 30 watt 30 watt i stick Man. but snopes the internet busting website uh actually picked up saying there was a bit of ambiguity about the setup he was actually using at the time not just that the whole story really it's all sort of lacking evidence and credibility oh god yeah, yeah. there's absolutely no detail at all in anything yeah, I mean, if there is going to be some truth in this, I would be very surprised that I don't have holes in my lungs, given I mean, the crazy shit I've done with vaping. Yeah, you know, over the the last thing is, year they, they, let's break it down. It it's e juice that that vaporizes into steam, right? If it's going to burn a hole, why would it not burn a hole in your mouth, down your esophagus, and then and then your lung? Why would it just choose? Oh no, I've reached the lung now. Now's time to go to work and burn. It's crap. It's just bullshit. Thought I'd sense you a bit there. Bit of internet censorship going on. Not possible with smog blog. But yeah, I mean, I hope for the guy's sake that it's not true. I hope it's just some bullshit that someone made up, fed to the media yeah. for money. Um, but obviously we're going to keep an eye on the story and, and we'll update you and see how it plays out. But at the moment, I'm still calling bullshit. For this one, bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> okay, next up, just a little quick reference to something Tony found. It's a month old, but it was a Spanish group of scientists did a, a bit of research and they found that uh, e-cigarette vapour exhaled contains less organic compounds than regular breath being exhaled. So from that we can glean that um, e-cigarettes actually cleanse our breath. I, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, ends. No, mute. I think maybe, but you know, the the point is, you know, there's all these sort of studies and say, so, oh, we found formaldehyde. We found formaldehyde. It's really bad. That that's a cancer called. Hey, and wait a minute. Formaldehyde is naturally found in your blood. So, you know, it, it, it's just a nice story that if true then it is kind of a giant up yours to all these media things saying about how terrible vaping is how many bad things there are how bad it is how bad passive vaping is you know so i'm not sure we, we need, it's another one we need to follow but it's certainly a nice one for a change next up on the hit list is an article from e-cigarette direct titled e-cigarettes water vapor on the lungs should you be concerned so a concerned smoker who was looking to switch to e-cigarettes basically asked their doctor in the light of the public health 95% better for you uh, yeah, thing and said, yeah, can I switch to e-cigarettes as a, a health benefit as I have to give up smoking as I've just found out I've got COPD. 
Now, what the health professional says, that they acknowledge the 95% health better, but they said, actually, e-cigarettes are going to leave a load of water vapour lying at the base of your lungs, which is an ideal breeding ground for bacteria. Now, water is an ideal breeding ground for bacteria. However, um, in response to that, e-cigarette directs got in touch with a health professional who has been studying this, and they just said that it's a load of bullshit. So you get more uh, water on your lungs from home nebulizers specifically used to treat COPD. Also, um, patients who have been uh, coming off cigarettes with COPD and going on to vaping, they've not been having any sort of respiratory issues triggered by going to vaping, which is a good thing. But also, because they're getting off cigarettes, their lungs are improving. Mm. So, you know, there's actually evidence you know from case studies to see that getting off smoking getting onto vaping is good even if you've got copd obviously you know you've got to be careful with that mm. because if it was me i would probably just stop i was but, going to say we're not endorsing that that vaping is is the cause of that but it is not the cause of you know make, make improving the respiratory system but it's probably the fact that they're Giving up s- tobacco, stinkers. yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. So again, it, it's a, it's another nice. Okay, it's not particularly a news story, so it's on e-cigarette direct, mm. but um, it, it's a nice story. It's pro vaping, and it actually sort of takes into account facts, and it, you know, there is actually sort of scientific research that's gone on behind it, and for a change, it's a nice one. Yeah. Next up is uh, an article I found on Facebook last week. It was uh, part of a group that, that I'm, I'm a member of, which was to do with people that were, were making a film about e- e-cigarettes saving saving lives and, and getting backing on Facebook, and Facebook fucking censored it like tossers. Yeah, the, the reason they sort of censored it is basically they've lumped vaping in with tobacco products tobacco products are currently banned on Facebook, you know, and that's fine. You know, we support that. But at this time, you know, right now, vaping isn't tied in with tobacco in the same way. That's coming with the TPD, TDP, whatever it is today. It is a TPD. Tobacco Products Directive. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, that that probably will come. But, you know, right when this was happening, this this wasn't right. So and they'd censored an advert for this a billion lives movie project. So, yeah, that went through. There was a whole petition, and that's actually been passed now. So um, Facebook have, have crumbled and said, "Yeah, fine, have, have your film, save people's lives. We're not against saving people's lives." That's another nice news story. Yeah, good job, Facebook. Twats. <coughs> Don't call Facebook twats. If people hadn't stood up to them, what would have happened? What they'd have, would, they'd would you still not be calling them twats? True, but for the same reason, you can guarantee other people are not going to be happy that there's a film about vaping. You know, the, the whole media with their pitchforks, there are people out there who hate vaping, they think it's the devil. Mm. So, it depends on who you side. Do you decide with the angry pitchfork people, or do you side with the angry vapey people? Well, seeing as we're a vape vlog, yes, I think we're going to side with the I vape people. Who, I know who I side, but being impartial, you know, you've got these two conflicting fronts. Um, they they went with the cowardly option. They went with the path of least resistance, and then realised that actually there's coming up some resistance the other way. Fuck it, we tried crumble. Yeah, so, so yeah, a win for vaping. Yeah, which is good. That's what we want. So, next up is over stateside. Uh, CBS Philly reported that a high school in Delco was evacuated uh, as a result of an exploding e-cig battery. Over to Tony with the details. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, e-cigarette exploded in Philly. Funnily enough, the e-cigarette was in a kid's pocket. What Uh, else was in the pocket? Apparently, loose change. Can we guess what happened? Yes, the loose change caused caused a chain reaction with the e-cigarette and caused it to vent. Yeah, exactly. I mean, quite 
how the setup can be affected by loose change, I don't know. Was it a loose battery? Was it, you know, actually... Well, it sounds like a mod because they... they so the whole school was evacuated and, and I believe they called the police because they thought it might be a pipe bomb. Yeah. Even though it was this kid like screaming about being burnt in his pocket from his e-cigarette. So quite what the setup was, I don't know. I guess if it's a pipe bomb, it must be a mech mod. But... How would a coin fire off a... I don't know. I don't Is it know. a spare battery? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do find quite funny about this, this is... Uh, yeah, sorry, laughing at America a little bit here. So this whole high school was evacuated because a kid's e-cigarette right, went off, which I mean, is going to be fairly clearly an e-cigarette. And if not all of the teachers, there's going to be a lot of people there who would recognise an e-cigarette. So they've evacuated the school. There, there was that Mohammed kid who built the clock. I was thinking exactly the right. same. <laughs> they kept him and all of the students in school while they phoned the police because they believed he had built a bomb and brought it to school. Right, There's this sort of suspect looking clock. And, you know, fair enough. It does look like a, it's, it's a weird clock. But, I mean, it's a really cool project. You know, fair play to the lad. But... They kept everyone in the school. They didn't evacuate the school. They didn't evacuate the 10-block perimeter and call the helicopters. No, they saved that for e-cigarettes. <laughs> the mind boggles. I suppose, playing devil's advocate, I'm thinking Mohammed... Was it Mohammed? It was Mohammed. Mohammed, with his um, homemade clock, was just sort of like an article that they were looking at, but hadn't gone off. Whereas this this story with the kid with the exploding e-cigarette, it had gone off, and so something had happened. Had it malfunctioned? Uh, in terms of, is it a pipe bomb? Has it malfunctioned? Do we need to evacuate? So that that sort of perspective you, you can understand. What I want to know is this kid going to be meeting the president like Mohammed? <laughs> Because that would be awesome. <laughs> and is the president going to vape? <laughs> and lastly, from the vaping news, there's actually quite a nice article in The Guardian, which is a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's more of a level-headed sort of article where, you know, they know that there's some unknowns. Um, but, OK, it's called E-Cigarettes, a consumer-led revolution. It's talking about using e-cigarettes to give up smoking. And it's talk it, basically they say... There's a lot of conflicting information out there. What should you believe? Now, it's really weird because where does this conflicting information keep getting fed from? Newspapers. But <laughs> The Guardian. So, it, yeah, there's a lot of conflicting information. It comes from you guys. Come on. With your pitchforks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, this is it. I mean, it's, it's been media and pitchforks, particularly, I mean, the backlash from the 95% better yeah. for you public health thing. They, they, they were out in force. Fuck yeah. Just everything. They were like, oh yeah, vaping raises the devil. And Also, if you're interested, check our previous video where we reference this. Yeah. And uh, the newspapers come down heavy after the 95% safe thing <laughs> yeah, came out. for weeks they were just Jesus slating Christ, it. Jesus Christ, everything that was going on, it was e-cig related. But yeah, this is a much more level-headed thing where it just sort of looks at some facts and says, well, okay, it admits there are unknowns. It's not saying that e-cigs are probably bad it's not saying yeah they are good it just says you know there is a lot of unknowns which we know so yeah much better yeah yes yeah, so what the story sort of centers around is there there was a, a debate a meeting uh to discuss e-cigarettes role within the you know sort of getting rid of tobacco sort of products role uh, and the outcome was basically that it may not be the key to getting rid of it but it's a really important part of it which is good and again it's it's that sort of level-headed thing you know it's sort of maybe okay vaping is still a vice it's still not you know it's not drinking water we all know that but at the same time it, it's loads better than tobacco i certainly feel a lot better for vaping than i did when i was on the tobacco so you know it's good to see that reflected in the media mm. okay guys this uh, debate was marked in order to launch the new Integrative Cancer Epidemiology Programme at the University of Bristol. 
So Professor Marcus Monafo, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Linda Bald, who we've uh, already reported on uh, in the past, they were there sort of discussing the, the various pros and cons with e-cigarettes and yeah, getting children smoking. I mean, basically, it's a lot of stuff we'd actually already covered before, particularly around Linda Bald, because yeah, that is what she's been doing for a while now. So yeah, it's the same thing. And again, I really like the stuff she comes out with because it seems very level-headed. It's It's... You know, it's fairly impartial and it, it just seems well thought out, which, you know, is what we need. We don't need the media pitchforks. We don't you know, need just people making stuff up. We need scientific fact and exactly. a level head for yeah. it. And, Science. Yeah. And cutting through the bullshit, telling you exactly how it is. And, and this is a really good step towards that, I believe. Now, we'll go link this and all the other stories up below so you can have a read. But, yeah, I mean, th this is a good one, I think. Yeah. Okay, so news done. On to what we do next, which is video updates. What have we had? We had the C Fiber versus I Just Two face off. Um, yeah, I mean they're both really good units, but uh, yeah, if money was no object, I would find it very difficult. But given the low price point of the I Just Two, I think yeah. I guess it would win out for me. But looking at just the devices, I'd find it very difficult to call. What up, Tugboat? What up, Tugboat? Yeah, so if they were the same price, I, I'd find it a bit more difficult to choose which one, you know, because they, they've got so many pros and cons that are just slightly different. Yeah. But, you know, performance-wise, happy with both. But seeing as the iJust 2 is much less than half price, then I mean, it's, it's got to win on that basis, I suppose. I mean, in the UK, like like we said in the video, in the UK, the 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 iJust 2 is is cheaper a lot cheaper compared to the c5 100 watt you go over to the states or china a few other companies we've seen they're a damn sight cheaper a damn sight cheaper so cheap i bought another i just two and just had it delivered the other day how many have you got now you must have bought a lot of i just two it's a secret yeah it's he's, a secret. he's i reckon he's got at least one for every day of the week now <laughs> he's got a habit the thing is though it's so inexpensive i mean out and about you you don't like i said in the video you don't worry about losing it you don't you, you just don't yeah true i mean it, is... if i lost this setup i'd, I'd be pretty distraught but if exactly. it's just an i just you know you'd be, you'd be a bit pissed off but yeah it's not going to break the bank and if that interests you check our other videos and find it in there because it's a it's an interesting review. Next up was the uh, Easy Dripper. Yeah, I love it. It's brilliant. It's such a handy little tool. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I've got got the thing uh, riding about on the windscreen of my car. I don't use it while driving. I, I tend to fit a tank while I'm driving, just you know, because I don't want to be dripping and driving because that would be bad. Bad. But you know, it. it once it's up, it just sits there, works perfectly. And the bottle is just so good for just quick refill and you're gone. Like, you don't need to take the top off and drip carefully. You just drip it in there and that's yeah, it, it's gone. Exactly. Brilliant. It is a great little system. And although I don't drip and drive over, I'm seriously considering buying that just for the little juice bottle to, to have it because you don't have to fucking think about it. You don't have to piss about with unicorn bottles or the, the European squirty bottles. You just, bam, done. Yeah, even on, uh, so this is the drip tip that comes with uh, Tugboat V1. It's freaking tiny. Well, look, there, there you go. Just to give you a scale of tiny, it's just fitting in the twisted messes there. Now, it, it's even with that tiny thing, it, you don't end up with the juice everywhere like you would expect when you're just filling it through the top. But you do, you just, and it's done. Easy. <laughs> Fantastic. Simple. Yeah, easy dripper. I mean, it really is. It really is. Moving on, it's been a bit of a light week for us for, for video uploads, so we're sorry. Yeah, Tony's broke his hand. Yeah, wanking accident. And, uh, a little too furious, I'm afraid. <laughs> 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 Got to have a quick power wank every now and again. Oh, yes. um, uh, and I've been struck down with my third cold in a row, so uh, that sucked balls. But uh, on the mend now, today's my first day back on the vapes, so hitting it hard. Um, yeah, I took three days off from vaping, and, and that was fine because like I had a really shit chest and blocked nose and stuff, so wasn't interested in it anyway. Um, sort of, I missed it from a point of view that it's, it's 
I enjoyed doing it, but I, I didn't have withdrawal symptoms. Like, you know, when with cigarettes, I used to get like, I must have a cigarette. With this, I was just like, oh, I miss vaping. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've been sort of making up for that by buying vaping stuff though. I've, like yesterday, I had to take one day where I said oh, I'm just not going to buy anything. I nearly did. I nearly caved in twice. I was looking at some stuff, uh, a new tank I'd seen. So like, that looks pretty cool. I said, no, we can wait. We can wait. And uh, then I was like, okay, I went. I'll just, I'll just look at some other bits. Oh, here's all the stuff to make your own box mod. Maybe I want to do that. So I was like, started adding all this stuff to cart to build my own box mod. I'm like, no, fucking stop it. Do a bit more research. Work out exactly how I want to build this. And then do it. So I didn't. I had one day off of buying stuff. And that was the first time in well over a week where I haven't bought stuff. So, yeah, I've been chasing the postman down the road. Though. <laughs> yeah, I know that one all too well. I, I've bought so much shit, guys, I can't even remember what I've bought. I've got about three... Well, first oh, like I was expecting Tugboat! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah. yeah, I've bought so much fucking stuff. i got about three or four um, mods on the way, batteries on the way. I, I can't even remember all of them. Yeah, same. I, I've ordered from so many places now I can't even remember what I ordered from where yeah. and I know I've got some stuff on all... the thing, alright so yesterday was my sort of dry day where I didn't buy anything so I made up for that this morning once I was up, I had breakfast, bought a tank and I was telling Tony about it I was like oh, I've ordered a new tank, he's like oh yeah what is it I'm like I don't even remember I just I was surfing and like oh look that one looks good, let's have that so here we go, in, in the future once it's arrived um, from out of the country, yeah. um, there There'll be a review of some tank. I can't even remember what it's called now. More chasing down the postman. Yeah, yeah, fun times. I mean, this, this stuff is so addictive. It even really is. I, I was, yeah, even when I was my three days not vaping, I was just sort of pining over the stuff. It's awesome. Love it. It's, it definitely brings out the kid in. It's like, well, oh, yeah, yeah, the first time you go to Toys R Us, you know, you're oh, like, fuck, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like that every time I'm on the vaping sites, you know, yeah. you just go for it. Looking at all the stuff that's coming out, all the stuff that's come out, comparing how it all sort of adds up. Yeah. It's all shiny and new. Got to have it. Got to have one of every, every one. Yeah, definitely. Every single one. And um, upcoming reviews for you guys. We've uh, we've got a fair few sort of like half half done at the minute, but we're we're working on finishing them up. Um, DIY e juice. Yeah, make it yourself. Uh, full 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 review of you know starting from bare bones, taking you through, getting you all the percentages right and everything like that, and. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be. We're only halfway through that one at the minute, and I'm I'm already interested because I, I don't do my own e juice, but this guy over here he is fucking wicked at it, oh, and thanks. I'm vaping his juice right now. <laughs> yeah, you are. You don't want to put in that. Oh yeah, <laughs> busy. Um. Next up was the review for the Snow Wolf. Yeah, so I'm loving it so far, um, but I'm not going to give too much away about it. Um, save that for the actual review. Yeah. Uh, we got some crazy shit with this review, so uh, there's a lot to consider. But you know, watch this space; we'll get it up for you. <laughs> and uh, lastly, not lastly, not this. lastly, nextly, nextly. Um, yeah, I've decided to do a video on different cottons. Which I think we'd forgotten about. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it just clicked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we've, like, since we've been getting into building ourselves, mostly been on the Muji, you know, and yeah, there's plenty of others out there. And due to a certain requirement that's going to appear in another video, which I'm not going to tell you about, we, we just started getting into some other cottons. So, yeah, very impressive. You know, it's amazing the difference. You know, Muji's much better than, you know, your whole silica or. You know, I still see people using cotton wool out of Tesco's, for <laughs> fuck's sake. But, um, yeah, Muji's good, but there is better, definitely. And lastly, Go on then. Um, we're going to be doing a review on a bunch of clones. Yeah, so we had a few people chatting to me um, on our various social media things. Uh, hi, Mark. Hi, Devilish. And... Uh, yeah, you know, they've been sort of saying, you know, like 
do you guys ever review clones? And it's not something that we've been particularly into reviewing before, but we thought it'd be nice to do a sort of roundup of some of the best ones that are out there and sort of our take on it. Mm. So where I've been ill, I've got fuck all for funny stories, which is usually where we go next. What about you, Tony? You got anything? Not so much a funny story, just a, a nice sight. The other day when I was at the hospital getting my uh, next x-ray done, making sure my hand's healing up, um, I was outside having a vape, uh, t- turned round, looked by the, the automatic opening doors, saw an old couple there, must have been mid-50s, approaching 60. Old. All right, it's not old, but it, it's older than me. So, you know, that's my gauge. <laughs> anyway, they're both, what, what, he, the, the guy standing up, the, the missus is, is in a wheelchair, both got box mods, both vaping outside, directly outside the door. I just thought that was a brilliant sight, brilliant fucking sight. I love seeing that sort of shit. Yeah, it's good, it is good. I mean, it's nice to see it's not just sort of our generation no, doing it, you know. It appeals to everyone, I mean, it sh- and that's right, it should appeal to anyone that's a smoker, and a smoker can be any age. Yeah, definitely. I mean, people who've been smoking for many, many years are going to find it harder to give up, especially you know, because it's the action of smoking. Mm. That's the thing that I miss most. You know, It's not necessarily the nicotine, because you get your nicotine from your patches, but you don't do the smoking no, bit. That's right. And so vaping is just so close to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's just lovely to see that sort of open-minded list, open-mindedness span the generations. It's great. Well, that's about wrapping it up for this vlog. Um, Hopefully we've been a bit more in focus because we took the camera apart and uh, did some hardcore DIY on it. So fuck you, warranty. (laughs) But uh, yeah, hopefully you can see us a bit better. Hopefully the sound's working a bit better this week. Um, Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Either that or we've just wasted the entire night recording fuck all, you know. (laughs) So, oh well, we'll see. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying what we're doing or let us know what we're doing wrong if you're not. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and all the like. And we're quite chatty. If you've got any questions, you know, either hit us up on the YouTube videos or on one of them social media outlets and we'll get back to you. Now, I've been having a good chat a lot with Mark this week. Really nice guy. Um, always chat with Devilish Mode as well, you know, and uh, a few others on there. So, yeah, it's nice. Uh, anyway, that about wraps it up. Enjoy the best bits after the break, and thanks for watching Smog Vlog. This is all going in. Great. Nope, that's not they're, real. They're... <sighs> oh, God, <you're> so <laughs> Hello? Mum? No, just hang up on me. Bullshit. Jesus Christ, that was close to my face. Yeah, Yeah, when you said you were going to go outside for a vape, I really thought you said you were going to go outside for a wank. (laughs) (laughs) With this broken bastard, no chance. Not this time.